What's going on world? Welcome back to the Aquarium Gallery. Today's gonna be a really fun video. I actually woke up really early and I was gonna do my taxes, well actually the paperwork to figure out my fixed uh, cost for this fish room. And uh, instead of doing that, I figured I'm gonna make a video about it, as well as a video about the new fish I'm getting. So this is a new fish video. The tax video will be coming up after and uh, it will highlight how much it cost me to run this entire facility. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't because you don't want to miss out on that video as well as many other cool videos coming through the channel. Produced by Malik. Today's video is going to be really fun actually, this one is about new fish. I'm actually getting new fish. Yes, I have a problem. You guys already know this. I want new fish all the time. I've actually been feeling depressed for the last few weeks because I was not able to buy new fish. I actually just picked up uh, 50 or 60 new uh, tetras. They're, they were sold to me as cardinals, but I don't think they are. So I will put some zero footage of them. They are doing great. They've been here for 20 less than 24 hours, about 18 or 16 hours now. And so far, I've lost only like maybe four or five in the initial shipment. I put them in a really low pH, uh, low TDS tank. We'll be looking at that in another video, so stay tuned for that. And uh, comment below and let me know if you guys wanna know all these different things that I'm doing because I'm not only keeping play because I have maybe about 100 different other species of fish. I, I shit you not, there is a lot of different fish in this fishery. Somebody asked me how many types of Plecos and, and Corridoras I have and uh, I was ashamed to admit that I have between 30 and 40 different species of Plecos and Corridoras and uh, I don't actually exactly know how many different species I have but I do have about 30 to 40 groups of, uh, I would say about 35 is more realistic, uh, of different types of Corridoras and uh, Plecos and various types of other Loricariates throughout the fishery. And uh, we are going to get some more loricariates and the fish we are trying to get, what we are getting, is uh, Pseudohemida napitanos. I already have a group of eight of these guys and my friend Jason, who owns the Six Aquatics, I'll put a link to his website down here or down below, has brought in 12 new fish for me. I actually specially requested these fish for him, from him. This was from last year, I asked him to bring them in for me and uh, he brought in 12. Now, I want to take all 12, he would not have any issue with selling me all 12, I have the money for them ready, but uh, I don't want to take all 12 because one, space requirements for 12 of these fish, they're quite large, they're 7-8 inches for the large adults, is going to be, you know, like I would need 3 of these tanks to keep, you know, the group I have plus the 12 new ones. So that's not going to happen, I'm not going to take all 12. Also, if I take 12, I'm going to piss off a, few, off a few good friends who are also trying to buy these fish. They're not cheap, they are quite expensive, they're quite rare, they're not commonly available in the hobby and uh, I think this is the second time that we've gotten these fish in, uh, in our province maybe and uh, the last time we got them, Jason got them in as well and I got two of the red ones, there was I think four in total or three in total. And uh, I got two of them. I got a regular red, full red one, which I call Red Lucy, and a brick red one, which is a partial Lucy cystic. So it has uh, less coloration of less red, but more red than the regular looking ones. The new 12 are all completely red, except one that is a partial. So I'm going to pick out between five and seven, or four and seven fish. I want you guys to comment and let me know what you guys think I should get, how many fish, and why. And uh, if you want me to get all 12, comment and let me know, depending on how many people comment and based on your own responses and how evil I feel about taking all the fish, <laughs> Dr. Evil, I will definitely take a decent group. And uh, they will be going in here for quarantine. There are other fish in here. If you guys haven't checked out their care and maintenance video, I did a preliminary video on them, on basic care and maintenance as far as I understand. Uh, I will put a link to it up here, I guess, so you guys can see that, uh, which highlights what type of requirements these particular animals need or have. 
one of the main things you have to consider is they're a river dwelling animal that lives in the sand bed in high flowing environments. They don't come from areas where there's a lot of debris and rocks and boulders and stuff like that. Uh, as far as I understand, they come from smooth sandy bottom river areas. So you have to recreate that natural environment in your tank to keep them alive. If you do not do that, the animals, one, will get stuck in ornaments and stuff. So for example, in this tank, you can see I'll put some close-ups. I like other, the, the dinner fish I have, those are my combo tetras, I really love them. Yeah, I have a lot of fish. I have a problem. We'll be looking at that in the next video. So, uh, we'll be putting them in here, and you can see now in here there's not a lot of structure. I'm actually going to take out that sponge filter or somehow have it off the ground. And uh, basically on the ground level, I'm not having any structure for these guys. I'm even taking this thing and I'm, I'm debating if I should leave it in because they can get stuck. Like this one piece of slate, they could get stuck in and uh, they could die. My friend who's breeding these guys, uh, he has red ones that he's bred already quite successfully and then from the fry are like maybe adults, some adults now, or almost breeding size, has lost uh, a few of his fish, including his breeding male, through accidents of them getting stuck in under rocks or ornaments and stuff like that. So that's something to really pay attention to. And that's something I'm trying to avoid. So that's why you see there's nothing else in there. The large fish on the top are definitely gonna live in here. But uh, aside from those, there's not really gonna be much more going into the setup. Uh, there'll be Corridoras, you know, that live in the sand with them. Things like that sort that keep the fish happy, but the centerpiece fish, you're not gonna even see them too often because they're gonna be hiding under the sand. But I will get them out for you guys. So stay tuned for those videos because when they're feeding, it's really fun. That's one of the main reasons why I want to get them up here. I'm also going to take the eight that I already have. I'm going to take the large, maybe three fish and move them with the group, the new group. So I will have a decent amount of them in here that I can actually start spawning. So that's the bottom line of this uh, endeavor is to spawn these guys and make them available for you guys. So you guys can also enjoy these red apitanos. Uh, so they are very rare and uh, quite spectacular and I want you guys to tell me how many I should get and I will get that amount so based on your comments we, which will determine uh, which will help me determine how many fish to get out of this group also there are other fish that Jason has brought in uh, I really do want to get some of them I'm kind of worried about getting the L397s I might take a group of uh, five of those guys as well uh, I don't know yet 100% but uh, I think I will. So comment below and let me know if you guys think I should get the L397 uh, Panaculus or Panac or Panaculus? Panaculus? I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, yeah the L397s, I might, I might get them. And uh, I need your help on deciding. And aside from that, he does have other fish. I'm kind of upset that he sold all the L280s, which is something else I wanted but uh, he promised me he'll get me some more. So I might not be getting those unless the remaining four fish that haven't sold or that have not been picked up yet does not get picked up. I will end up getting those as well. So uh, there is a huge list of fish. I'll put a link to his website down below. You guys can go through it and also decide what other fish I should get and comment and let me know. If you go through his list and you see something that you, sh you think I should get, comment and let me know and uh, I will take that into consideration and uh, pick them up for my fish group. Now having said that, there's not much more else I can say about these particular fish because they're not here yet. They are being quarantined. I asked him to keep them for an extra two weeks for me uh, or a few days and uh, because I want to make sure they are good. They don't do well in transport, especially the large ones. So they just came in a few weeks ago and I want them to be completely comfortable before they get moved again and that's why they're not here yet. But they will be in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that video and subscribe if you haven't. Oh, the lights went off. Everything's on a timer. So anyways, that's my cue to say have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all.